guys! What's up? Alpha Lion Simba here and welcome to another creature comparison. It's time for another remake on my creature comparison channel, but this remake is no laughing matter. I'm remaking my creature comparison on the Spotted Hyena and the Striped Hyena. And that ain't no joke. <laughs> Let's begin. As always, we start with our similarities. First up, even though they both look like dogs, neither spotted nor striped hyenas are dogs. Even though hyenas and dogs share a common ancestor, they're separated by millions of years of evolution. In fact, hyenas are actually much more closely related to cats than they are to dogs. And yet, hyenas are in their own family. Hyena day. Also, even though spotted hyenas can be seen during the day, they, along with striped hyenas, are usually nocturnal. They come out of their dens at dusk, forage and hunt about, and then return to their dens by sunrise. Now, let's start with our differences. First up, spotted hyenas are much bigger. A fully grown spotted hyena weighs 45 to 70 kilograms or 99 to 154 pounds and are 80 to 91 centimeters or 31 to 36 inches long including the tail and can stand up to 75 centimeters or 30 inches tall in the shoulder and unlike many animals Female spotted hyenas are actually larger than the males. On the other paw, a fully grown striped hyena is about 49 to 120 pounds and 2.8 to 4.3 feet long. Also, striped hyenas have manes across their necks and backs that bristle up whenever they're threatened a trait that is not found in spotted hyenas. As far as range goes, spotted hyenas are found on the savannas of sub-Saharan Africa, and they can even be found in deserts, basically anywhere in sub-Saharan Africa except for the rainforests. By contrast, striped hyenas are found in northern, western, and eastern Africa, in the Middle East, and in India, inhabiting either savanna or desert. Spotted hyenas <laughs> live in large clans that are led by the females. Even the clan's highest ranking male must submit to the clan's lowest ranking female. And it's usually the leader's oldest daughter that will become the next leader of the clan. Striped hyenas, on the other paw, live alone or in pairs. But groups of six have sometimes been reported in Lebanon. Spotted hyena cubs are born with their eyes open, which is a trait not usually found amongst mammals. By contrast, striped hyena cubs are born blind and helpless, but after seven to eight days, they're able to open their eyes and their teeth develop after three weeks. Even though spotted hyenas do scavenge from carcasses, they can also be very adept hunters. Working together as a clan, spotted hyenas are able to take down prey such as antelope and wildebeest. And spotted hyenas have the strongest bite force of any in the animal kingdom, and they're literally able to crush bones. So they're able to eat everything from a carcass. Striped hyenas actually scavenge more often than they do hunt, and unlike spotted hyenas, they don't take down prey bigger than themselves. In terms of conservation status, striped hyenas suffer heavy persecution from farmers due to attacks on livestock, and they're currently listed as near-threatened on the IUCN Red List. Biologists estimate that there are only 5,000 to 14,000 striped hyenas existing in the wild today. Spotted hyenas, on the other paw, even though they share similar persecution, don't seem to be in any immediate danger and are listed as least concern. 
and it is estimated that there are currently between 27,000 to 47,000 spotted hyenas left in the wild. Well, that was it. My remake of my creature comparison between the spotted hyena and the striped hyena. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave requests in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Now, let's return to the safari hat and see what the next creature comparison is going to be. Ah, well, the next one's going to be an original, but don't call these lizards little. Alpha Lion Simba, out.